Hi folks, I'm Tom Shields on the Coyotes on Cairo. And talk about a big weekend, best of the year. A 5-2 win Friday night in North Okanagan with Tyler Liebel behind the bench for his first coaching win as the Coyotes scored four goals in the first period then settled into a checking style and Daniel Paul making the key saves. 4-2 for the Coyotes going into the third period when Austin O'Neill scored an unassisted goal and the 5-2 win. Meanwhile, Dean Maynard was playing in that Montreal Canadiens game that night and did very well, too. Well, Saturday night, Dean was back in the saddle in the Soyuz, and it was by far the best all-around game that the Coyotes have played all season. And that's a lot of facts, all saying pleasantly surprised at the fast-paced offense of the Coyotes and their puck moving, especially inside the other team's blue line. Daniel Paul was not quite as solid as the Rock of Gibraltar, but he did execute a couple of saves that were in the totally of the amazing category. They're called the key saves in a hockey game, and he rose to the occasion. He also picked up a penalty for tripping in Friday night game and caught Dale for tripping again in Saturday night. He is the KIJHL's most consistent goaltender and most consistent penalty taker for uh, Between the Piper. Austin O'Neill had a great weekend and was the first star of the game. But you know, Jeanette Heppel, who picks the three stars, could have sent anyone out there as they all had a great game. And that totally frustrated the other guys, and it was Sycamus blowing their cool late in the game, and here's how it sounded. Loose puck now with two minutes to go here in the third period. 4-1. Coyotes, three goals in the first period. Now here's got a goaltender. I don't know what's going on with the goaltender trying to get into everybody, but he's... Really took off after one of the Coyotes in there. Boy, that just now over at the boards over there is Berkelar. Uh, unfortunately, that's frustration. I don't know whether Astorino is uh, going to get any fighting penalty or not, but. Well, the goaltender Steinke is going to be gone too. I, I don't know what he just decided he was going to take on somebody. He went after Brock Martin. Of course, Brock is not one who's not going to sit back quietly and let that happen. As the Coyotes will just bring it down. And that's going to be it. Here comes the buzzer, and the hockey game is over. Jordan Shays Green gets the third tonight's star tonight. Second star from your Soyuz Coyotes, number 31, Daniel Paul. Well, we said he could be getting some consideration, and he did. Second star. And tonight's first star from your Soyuz Coyotes, number 16, Austin O'Neill. It was the buy low black bag giveaway and plate toss and everyone cheering for the local guys really had a great night. Then toss in the fact that North Okanagan lost 6-2 to two to Kelowna. The Coyotes are back in third place with 35 points while Princeton is 34, North Okanagan with 30. The Coyotes and the Posse have five games remaining. North Okanagan has four, so everything is still in play for all teams. Coyotes have a midweek game Wednesday night as they host the Summerland Steam at the Sun Bowl at 7.35. Dallas is the sponsor. Remax Realty Solutions, Janice and Craig Tucker's Duck Tucker Jackpot worth 300 smackers. If you can dunk duck into the small fish bowl near center ice. Summerland and the Soyuz are both four and six in their last ten games, but the Coyotes have won their last two games and looked impressive in doing so. 
After Wednesday night's game, the Coyotes hit the road this weekend for a Friday night game in Kamloops and a Saturday nighter in Chase. And the following Friday, February 22nd in Princeton, Saturday night at home, the 23rd against Summerland, and that'll do it. Coyotes were not playing at this level when they met Summerland in their previous games, and although they cannot catch the steam for second place, they sure can guarantee that they meet the steam in the first round by winning both of these upcoming games with Summerland starting with Wednesday night. So now we have it. It's called Hockey Drama. A scoreboard watching time at its peak. And it's also time to be uh, to encourage fans coming to the hockey game to bring those bells and whistles and noisemakers. It's coming to that time of year. Hockey. So hot, there's smoke coming out of the scoreboard. I'm Tom Shields on Cairo.